The smash and grab break in at a popular video game store in the U District, but the crime did not end there. Cairo 7's Rob Munoz talked with the owners who say the suspects tried to trade in the stolen items just hours later. Um, they smashed this glass here. We have this metal over here, but right there. It hurts Cody Spencer to walk us through the damage done to his U District video game store. Um, and then, of course, our front window. Uh, it's like safety glass, so it was just pretty much a spider webbed window just laying right down here. But he tells us he wants attention on this break in at his Pink Gorilla game store near the University of Washington because the incidents in the U District have been too common. What they take is only a thousand. The damage, three thousand or more, is just. It, and then now our store looks terrible. He shared with us these photos of the damage done by at least one person who broke through the front door glass early Sunday morning when he got a call from Seattle police. They're like, hey, we're in your store right now. There's a whole lot of damage. You want to come down and check it out? To add insult to injury, he got a phone call from this video store, not even a five minute walk away. Just one block away from the Pink Gorilla, the owners told us eight hours after their break in, someone came in trying to trade into Al's video store right here the same exact items that were stolen, but they can't prove it was the same suspect. They got a scan of their ID, they got them on camera, so uh, that info has been passed to the police and hopefully something will happen from there. Cairo 7 can't prove the ID of the suspect, so we can't show you the name, but Cody told us that person had a prior arrest for manufacturing fentanyl. Neighbors have been fed up and want to see something done on the Ave. Because they're doing crazy stuff. They're smashing, smashing windows, slitting people's tires. In Seattle's U District, Ron Munoz, Cairo 7 News.